Hi guys, it's Leyland Carp here. I'm Tom, this is Joe. This is our new series. We're going to go through some of our tackle. So as you can see in my hand, I've got a homemade throwing stick made by me. Um, this is Tom's one made. He's still currently making it. He's not finished painting it and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I made mine. Mine cost me about 70 pence to make. So very, very cheap compared to the retail prices of Nash's and Corder's throwing sticks. Anyway, so um, how I made it is I just got some ch tubing, which is about for 3 metres, £3.50. And I'd say I ain't even used half a metre yet. And then I just bent it to how much of a bend I li liked it. So I thought this bend would be nice for me, whereas Tom thought the gradual bend would be better. So how I made it is I just cut, cut it to what size I'd like, cut a angle like that as you can see there, onto so it don't just go shooting up in the air and it will actually fling down, go more aerodynamic. And then all I did is get a grip, this is the only tip I could f um, tape I could find, so I had to just make do with this, I just wrapped it around it as a grip, so you could hold it like that, so you don't start holding it here and stuff, and then I made it on the end. As you can see though, the end is quite wear and tear, as look, I can push it quite hard, and it's only even a slightly give. So anyway, now I'm going to pass you to Tom, with his rigs. Hi guys, it's Tom here. Um, this is my rig. As you can see, I've got a metre of lead core. Um, I've got a stop here. If you're wondering why that is, is because basically what this stop does is when the fish takes it, I like it about there, when the fish takes the rig, not only does the lead fall off, but the lead doesn't fall off until it hits this. This is, like, this is what I like it because I like my lead falling off. Basically, what happens is when the fish takes it, this picks up, goes down here, hits that, and that's when the lead falls off. But that's how a hook, that, and, and also that gives a bit of a stronger hook hold. I just have this to, to keep it a bit firm. As you can see, I have a, a rig ring just here, big one, and this just gives it loads of maneuverability, um, just so it hooks easier. I've got just some braid. I don't know what braid it is actually. It's quite old braid, but I know it's good. It's about fifteen pound. Um, I've just got some quarter putty on there. Uh, I got the, I like the brown one because, as you can see, I'm, this is for a silk bottom, a Fang X micro barbed. Um, I got uh, tight hair, so basically, what that means is, is the hook, the the boil is very tight to the hook. I like it like that. I'm confident with it. Um, and then I just got a bit of shrink treatment. I'm just going to show you. Uh, as you can see, I'm using my trusty monster squids. They're my favourite boilies. I just love them. I just bought a kilo today. Just put that on the ultra fine Nash baiting needle. I think they really, they're really good. Just put it on. See if you just put it on the hook like this. Then I find that the stoppers that I like to use are the Nash, um, the Nash diffusion camo stoppers. As you can see, they're, they're nice in camo, and I think they're um, very good. Uh, I've never had a boilie loss on them, and they're, I think they're very camo diffusion. I like camo diffusion camo. How would that um, rig sit on the bottom, Tom? I'll show you how it sit on the bottom. As you see, I've got my lead very loose because I like coming it off. Um, how it sit at the bottom is when you cast out, this will go very tight to this, so it'll be like that. This is how you can just get close of it, up of it, Joe. This is how because of course it's lead core, it'll be very pinned. And this is how you're most likely to have it sitting on the bottom. And this is quite a grippy lead. I like this lead. And as you can see, it has loads of movability. And then it has that shrink tube in there. So it turns in their hand and hooks the cup. Uh, now I'm just going to show you how I put in my PVA bag. What I'll do... Is, uh, most of the time I have it like this, but if I do want to use a PVA bag, this is how I would. Just get your PVA bag, put your boilie in first. These are the quarter ones, extra small. Unfortunately, Nash doesn't make one, as, as you know, uh, Nash is my preferred make. Just put that in. As, as uh, Kevin Nash says, he doesn't like PVA bags, he thinks the cup's sussed it. Grab your, I just got pellets there, big ones, small ones, all sorts. Just I just like to put it there and just pour in, like this, keep the lead outside, just see as you can see I've got the boilie at the bottom, see that boilie is at the bottom, 
just get in quite a bit. And this not only will camo your hook, it will attract the fish. You can pick ground bait in, you can pick, some people put a bit of goo in there, or a bit of glug or something, just make sure you push it down. I've got a tiny bit of pop ups that come to the top. Um, riser pellets will be very good in this because you trap the fish and they come to the bottom, you get them on the bottom because they, they'd see it uh, if, they're, if they're drifting on a hot day and then they come down and seek it. Right, that's how tall it is, then I just like to put on the lead. Like this, like that. Now you do is you just push in the lead, all nice and tight, because then it makes it aerodynamic. And now I don't do a knot like normal people do. Normally they do like, or they just tie it. I just like to turn this bit here, wet it a bit, then turn it, then just stick it. Now you can't leave that overnight, that will melt, because it will slowly melt, and there you go, that is a very, you can make it even more aerodynamic by just wetting in the sides, pushing them down, and that will create a nice mist, and if you can see, you might not be able to see it, but I can, can you just see my hook bait right there, so it's at the bottom, which is nice, away from the lead. So, yeah guys, that is how I like to have a presentation, I'm just going to chuck it in the water just to show you how it will look. place where we can chuck it in and we can get a good shot of the camera. I think here we're not. So as you can see, this, this is out. Then I'm casting it out. Cast it out. Just want to make sure the leg cover. Cast it out. Just got it on the bottom like that. And it's just melting. It'll take a while to melt. And as you can see, the leg core is sinking nicely. And as you can see, it's melting. And what I like to do to make sure my PVA bags are melted is normally I like to um, see the lead's falling out. That's good. And now the next thing will happen is the uh, PVA bag will completely melt, dropping out your rig. So you're getting all this nice stuff coming out near your hook bait. And the carp will see that all them bright colours and they love it. Yeah, as you can see, this is in really shallow water, so that'll be at the top, but that'll melt much, much quicker in deep water. Look at all the nice stuff. There's a bit of a stream coming down this, so it's all... And there we go. Beautiful. And, of course, that'll float to the top in a big, big lake, and that's just going to take, take him up the stream. Now, now let's just pretend I'm a carp. I'll come along. Just, what is this? Make it a massive cloud, and then the other carp will see that, and then that's when, the, when this cloud goes. Eventually, there's my hook bait got a carp on. And that is how Tom's rig sits. Thanks for watching.